every overnight success took years in the making. See, the best leaders, they love the parts that nobody else loves. They love the grind, they love the effort, they love the work. That's what they love. They love the climb. They know the view from the top of that mountain is going to be beautiful. But it's the climb that makes it all worthwhile. The best, the Bradys, the Serenas, the LeBrons of the world, they set the bar internally, not externally. And when we do that, guess what happens? The drive to achieve is replaced by something more fulfilling and more sustainable the drive to get better. The real magic happens when we stop focusing on the competition against others and we start competing against ourselves. But when achieving is the entire goal, when that's all that we're focused on and you get there, you lose the drive. When achieving is the whole focus and you get there, you lose the drive. But when we wake up every day and we focus on getting better, it's sustainable. One of my college coaches, he won the national championship. Such a special, incredibly special moment. He wins the national championship, and what happens after you win a national championship? You cut down the net, you know, you celebrate with your players, you do a post-game interview with the media, sort of breaking it down. Champagne goggles flying in the locker room. They're celebrating. It's an unbelievable moment. A lot of things have to happen to go right to win a national championship. He wins it all. But then guess what he told me? The next morning at 8.30 in the morning, after winning the national championship, guess what he was doing? He was on the phone at 8.30 in the morning with a kid, with an 18-year-old kid begging that young man to come play basketball for him the following season. That's drive. The drive to achieve, it might get us there, but the drive to get better is what keeps us there.